So I started focusing on lower time frames, and what I saw was that I saw a lot of accuracy by spending time and focusing on the best setups and focusing on refining the fake change of character and the good and the good change of character. Now, of course, I cannot be right 100% of the times. So that's not how trading works. You cannot be right 100% of the times. So it's impossible. But at the end of the day, we all care about being right most of the times with a good risk to ratio. So let's go here on your GP. Your GAP, what I want to see in the morning right here, I will mark out the highs and lows, especially of, well, not especially, but of the Asian range and also of other highs and lows. Here we don't really have anything. We are in a bullish trend for sure with this bullish momentum. And at the same time, we have this previous side. So for me, I don't like to go against the trend, but the only way that i will go against the trend is if at first we break this previous high so we go for external liquidity after going for external liquidity we can look for a retracement going against the trend other than that let me show you right now what is happening on the one minute anyone will say right now that right here this will be a change of character right in the chat if in your opinion, this is a change of Carter. Is this a change of Carter? Write in the chat. I'm waiting. Drop some messages. Drop the messages in the chat. Is this a change of Carter right here? Yes, no, 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 yes. Now, of course, I would like to ask you why you think it's not or why you think it is, but we cannot have 100% the answer. Well, sometimes we do. Sometimes there are just the confluences that tell us if it is a good change of character or if it is a bad change of character. In some other times, it can get confusing. But let me explain why I will never take this type of trade. I will go right here and there is this previous eye. This previous high is broken by this move right here. So where does, where does this move actually start from? This is the move that actually breaks the high, that sweeps the liquidity. And when, where did we just came back? To this hidden demand. To this hidden demand. So I'm actually looking for buys. I'm actually looking for buys from here. Um, I'm not looking for sells. This is, according to me, a... Uh, Fake change of Carter. Perfect. And right now, we, uh, I will go long. But I'm not going long right now because I don't have all the confidences needed in order to go long. This is just the analysis. Of course, if I will take trades, I will share it with you, with you here. I will share it with my students. I will share it in the Signal channel. Right now, it's not really that. It's just because I think it's a fake change of Carter. I will get in a trade. We need confidences, guys. Every single time, we need the best trades to play out. We need to enter only the best trades. Now, according to this, I consider this a fake change of character. I would like to see at the same time here. Let's say if this happens right now, now we had break to the downside, break to the upside. If we keep breaking to the downside, then we have uh, my favorite confirmation right here. We have another break to the downside, and then we give this confirmation here. I would enter. So I'm looking for this on your GP. Let's see if it happens. If it doesn't, I mean, we just nothing. We we'll just wait and look at some other things. And that's it. Perfect. So keep in mind, as I said already, break of the previous high was caused by this move right here. Perfect. We went lower. Okay. At this point, I'm looking for a break to the upside. If we get a nice break to the upside, the structure is clearer. I can actually think of getting involved. At the same time, one thing that with Excel students we always pay attention to is the volumes. I've been covering the volumes in my live trading sessions with my students, and I'll keep actually breaking them down. I will release a webinar very soon. Um, and volumes are a great confluence, actually, well, from what I see. 
from actually all the trades that I've taken and backtested, I decided to implement volumes a couple months ago. Uh, a couple months ago, one of my uh, one of the Excel mentors, which is Stefano, he actually came here to Canary Islands. He came to trade in the Excel trading floor uh, with me, and he showed me. He was like, "Yeah, I've been back testing volumes, and I've seen some nice confluences with the strategy." And he showed me, and I was like, "Well, let me back test it." I started back testing it, and I would say that actually he was right. These confluences with volumes are great. I will release the uh, I will release the webinar very soon. Now, let me go back here while we're waiting. We're waiting for this. We're waiting for this break to the upside. In the meantime, let me. Okay, perfect. Let me see if I can add some audio. We play some a little bit of music or something. Perfect. Let me see. Right. Do you hear me if I if I speak or the music is too loud? Please let me know. You can hear me, right? Perfect. Okay, perfect. You know what we're looking for already. You know what we're looking for uh, on your GEP. We're waiting for this. Now, this is very important to keep in mind. It's very important to keep in mind. Actually, let me send the chart to also my students, which is most important part right here. I have my other screen here. We have the charts here. I have my other screen, which you cannot really see right now, but I need to send the chart need to send a chart of what we're looking for. Hope they are in the live as well. Looking for buys against the fake change of Carter. You need to master the fake change of Carter. You must understand why it happens, when it happens, all of these things. I've been back testing the fake change of Carter like crazy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Now let's look for the retracement. We're looking for buys, guys. We're looking for buys. Don't go crazy. Like what I recommend you, don't go crazy. Like this is not the holy grail of trading. It's not like if now we enter a trade, it will be 100% accuracy and all of these things. Be smart. Trading is made of risk. For this reason, you must manage your risk. Now, I need to get on my phone as well. Placed a buy right here. Placed a buy right here. First trade of the day. There are equal lows down here with these two candles, which are not actually looking the best. But we are executing the plan, looking for a 1 to 4.2 restored ratio. If we drop down, we look for other trades later. It's no problem. This is actually nice. First, first trade of the live, live stream, and whether it is a stop or a win doesn't matter. Actually, what I do usually, and I will keep the tradition, I will change chart right now because I don't want, like, it's better to manage emotions without looking at the chart. 
Also, please, for everyone looking, don't go crazy with the trades. This is 0.5 risk per risk. 0.5% risk for me is nothing. 0.5% of my capital of one account out of five accounts that I have. I have four founder accounts and one personal account. This is 0.5% risk in one account. So I'm not telling you this is no financial advice. This is the trade that I'm personally taking. And that's it.